This week on Fur Kickers, we ask the question, what in the hell is a fur kicker? You wake up early each morning. Your drive and desire is second to no one. You fight vigorous conditions. You're trying to catch an animal that can walk anywhere they want to, but you hope they take one step too many. The days are long, and the nights even longer. You understand the reward doesn't cash out like it once did. You do it not for the glory, but for the love of the art. You respect the game you target. You pass down the tradition, and you educate the non-believers. You're a fur kicker, just like us. Trapping has been a part of human history since our prehistoric ancestors, who were hunters and gatherers. They invented the original pit traps, snares, capture nets, and deadfalls. Fur bearers, or animals that are harvested for their fur, have been the main target for trappers. Foothold traps were first invented to keep poachers out of European estates in the 1600s. Blacksmiths made traps of iron in the early 1700s for trappers. By the 1800s, companies began to manufacture steel foothold traps, like we use today. Overall, trapping can be a cost-effective activity that can benefit wildlife population, decrease damage to timber stands, agricultural crops, pastures, and road systems. Controlling fur bearer populations at suitable levels can also reduce the spread of wildlife diseases. In many cases, trapping can help with your deer and turkey populations. Raccoons, for example, need to be controlled because they'll rob turkey nest, grouse, and pheasant nest and decrease the population fast. By trapping coyotes, this will help the young as well as adult turkeys thrive on your farms. Coyotes will also feast on deer, specifically the fawns in the spring and summer. Fur kickers enjoy targeting raccoons as well as coyotes across this country. Believe it or not, there is a difference between a fur kicker and a trapper. Do you have what it takes to be a fur kicker? It's not just about trapping and harvesting the fur. If you ask the guys, it's a little more than that. Fur kicker would be someone that's out scouting throughout the season, looking for a target animal, looking for the sign. So once the trapping season finally gets here, he's out, he's putting the traps in, trying to get, make that animal make one step too many. All right, Lark and I are out here at this pond. I've set out an otter trap, I think December 5th. Over a month of running this trap, well over a month, I'd say, finally connect on him. During the day, Cody's a lineman, but in the off hours, he's a fur kicker. His specialty is water trapping. If there's a beaver in a pond or a creek, you can count on Cody and his knowledge to remove that nuisance quickly. In. Cody Beckham right here, and uh, he's like, we'll get him. Put a 330 here yesterday, which we filmed them setting it up with that caster mound, and he obviously didn't come up it because right. he worked the caster mound. Chewed on that again, and so saved a bunch of trees on, on this farm, and let's get them out. That's, that's, that's a lot bigger than what we thought, huh? What do I think it means to be a fur kicker? Someone that's a true conservationist, someone that goes out there and leaves it better than they found it. Someone that's got heart, that puts his time and effort. Don't just go out there and dig a hole. Figure out why you're putting a trap there. Put the time, put the effort in. And someone that's willing to pass it on, not only to their kids, but maybe someone else's kids, or even an adult that's never trapped before. I'd let him go. Uh, oh yeah. See there? When it comes to a pure passion and desire to trap, both Corey and Cody are second to no one. I've trapped when I was a kid a lot. All my stuff got stolen, and now I'm back into it heavy. Yeah. With years of trial and error, both guys are extremely good at what they do. 
however mistakes are made and lessons are learned. That's what makes a fur kicker. They surely don't know everything and aren't afraid to learn. One thing about a true fur kicker is the ability to pass down the art of trapping. Introducing kids is very important to the guys. Something I can't talk a lot because I get emotional, but to take my kids along and have Lockett or Tilly turn and say, Daddy, there, there's, a, there's an otter. Daddy, look at this coon. It just, it warms you. You know, it's, I know it's, once you have kids, you'll, you'll know what I'm saying, but to see it smile on their face every time, it, it's awesome. Yes. Pull hard, it's frozen in. Two hands, pull. Got it. Trapping with my daughter Cameron and my son Brody is something that's truly special to me. And just like Cody, I get a little choked up thinking about it, let alone talking about it. Spent a lot of time these last few years um, on the line with my kids trying to teach them a little bit of what I know. Uh, I believe truthfully that it makes a person, especially a young person, a lot better um, outdoorsman or in my daughter's case an outdoors woman. We got uh, three male coyotes, one female. Um, all had nice furs. Dad had a big hole set right here. It got really cold so we lost a couple and all the traps were frozen. So. Uh, we got this one here, and uh, let's uh, dispatch it. That's our second coon. That is my biggest. That is the biggest coon I've ever seen in my whole eight years of being alive. This badger and a pipe dream set, and it's our first badger we've ever caught, and it's actually pretty big. Fur Kickers is brought to you by Interlock Broadheads, American-made and deadly by design. Outdoor Edge knives and tools. Umarex air guns. Reveal cellular cameras, fur light, luminox, light them up, scent thief, black widow deer lure, AMS bow fishing, and Mike's archery, family owned for 50 years. Fur Kickers is proud to be partnered with When it comes to land trapping, Corey's all about getting after it. From the mountains of Pennsylvania to the flatlands of Kansas, you can find Corey running lines and enjoying the outdoors. I love to land trap. That is my favorite thing to do. Targeting bobcats and targeting coyotes is definitely my favorite. I love trying to outsmart that wily coyote. Uh, I really love um, going out and, and seeing them hopping around in our traps and I love sharing it with my kids as always. Well guys, welcome to the tundra, also known as Kansas today. We woke up, we got a fresh dusting of snow, it's seven degrees and it's gonna be very chilly the next few days. And um, got a beautiful grayish coyote here. This is number five or six off this farm. Here is big male bobcat, Tom Bobcat. He's just at 35 pounds. My dad and I, the last trap of the line to check, my goal was one a day, one animal a day, and five of the 10 fox sets had fox tracks in them. Learn from my, my mistakes, I'm more set up for coyotes, and I uh, had to make some adjustments this morning on my sets. Came up here to the very last one, and son of a gun, got a beautiful red fox. It's been like blizzarding, like a lot, of, it's been like, this all night and all day. Both Corey and Cody enjoy teaching trapping to outdoor adventurers. Each morning you head to the trap line is like Christmas. You never know what to expect, which is one of the fun parts of being a fur kicker. Sharing the experience with a friend or family only adds to the excitement. As you can see, being a fur kicker is more than just setting a trap and hoping an animal takes one step too many. It's about respect, conservation, and passing down the knowledge. Being a fur kicker doesn't take skill, it takes heart. Anyone can be a trapper, but it takes someone with heart, ambition, patience, and sacrifice to be a true fur kicker. That's snowing like crazy. We're checking traps, we're making it fast. We got three possums today. 
No matter the circumstances, a fur kicker will always persevere <laughs> and come out learning more than they did when they started. You won't catch an animal each time you trap, but you can learn each time you hit the line. Oh, I'm Atta girl. stuck. We're here to have fun. We, we are definitely not know-it-alls. We probably um, haven't trapped nearly as, as much as some of the other people, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our very best to entertain you, to educate you, to educate the non-believers, and, uh, and to pass this art on. Because let's face it, trapping is an art. It's a lost art. You get out there and you see a coon moving or a coyote jumping up and down, or you notice the 330's not where it was supposed to be sitting, and uh, you know you got your critter. It, it's, it's like being a kid again. It's, it's like every time is your first time. It's always exciting. If I can uh, get one person out there to, to buy a DP and, and, and get some cat food and go out and catch a raccoon, or you know maybe get that guy that's got his traps buried in a barn because fur prices are really down, to get them back out and to get out there and enjoy it. Pass it down, persevere, and always be prepared for any situation. Trapping is something that takes time to learn but being a fur kicker only takes one minute to decide. Do you want to be a fur kicker? Ah! Fur Kickers is brought to you by Interlock Broadheads, American made and deadly by design. Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools. Umarex Air Guns. Reveal Cellular Cameras. Fur Life. Luminox. Light them up. Scent Thief. Black Widow Deer Lure. AMS Bow Fishing and Mike's Archery, family owned for 50 years. Fur Kickers is proud to be partnered with. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.